Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe, the canine chef in training here with another human treat. Yep, another human treat. We've got to get cooking some dog treats here soon. We are running low. But here we go again with another human treat. We are going to show you how to make bacon ranch chicken and pasta in the slow cooker. This is a Betty Crocker inspired recipe that mom changed a little, but for the most part it is still the same. She will put a link to the original recipe and also our version in the video description. Here's what you need to make this recipe. One to two pounds of chicken breast diced, eight slices of bacon cooked and crumbled, two cloves of minced garlic, and you can leave the garlic out if you aren't a garlic fan, one package of ranch dressing mix, one can of crema chicken soup, one and a half cups of sour cream, a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of basil, a half a cup of water, eight ounces of angel hair pasta cooked. Cook the bacon and crumble in a dish. Spray the crock pot with cooking spray and place the chicken breast in the crock pot. In a bowl, mix all ingredients except for pasta. and you pour over the top of the chicken. Cook this on low heat for six hours or high heat for four hours. When 10 minutes are left, heat some water in a pot Pour in a little olive oil, bring to a boil, add in your angel hair pasta and boil for about five to 10 minutes until tender. Drain and then add the pasta into the crock pot. Toss the pasta until it's covered with sauce and serve. This is great with the bacon herb three cheese bread we posted yesterday. This actually tastes better the next day after it's been in the fridge overnight. Just reheat for about 15 minutes in a 375 degree oven and it comes out tasting drool worthy. Well, there you have it, another drool-worthy human treat. If you liked our video, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment. This is an easy recipe, so we will add it to our For the Culinary Challenge category. Aunt Rose should be happy about that. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page where we post updates about my surgery recovery. And as always, stay home, say your prayers, and wash your hands. We will get through this quarantine one recipe at a time. Have a blessed day.